Magandang gabi po, Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Buong tapang na humarap sa publiko, si Senadora Miriam Defensor Santiago ngayong araw para ihayag ang kanyang pinakabagong laban na hinaharap. Ibinalita ng Senadora na siya'y may cancer sa baga. Nasa stage 4 ang cancer ni Santiago at bagamat hinihingal siya kapag nagsasalita, ilang beses pa niyang nakuwang magpataba. Pwede pa rin daw siyang komandidato sa eleksyon 2016. Nakatutok si Jam Cisante. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself to you as the only senator who has been diagnosed with lung cancer as of last week. I have cancer of the left lung which makes it hard for me. To breathe. Yan ang sorpresang anunsyo ni Senador Miriam Defensor Santiago sa ipinatawag niyang press conference kanina. Habang nagsasalita, hinihingal at minsang nanginginig ang kanyang boses. Pero buo ang determinasyon ni Santiago na labanan ang kanyang cancer sa baga. I'm very excited. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I said, yes, I got cancer. Because now I'm entering another dimension of human life. That has always been my attitude. Nakuha pa rin ang senadora na magpatawa. I don't know what the reaction of my enemies are. Maybe they'll be happy because on one hand I might die and then they could get rid of me. But on the other hand, I might survive and then I will get rid of them. My husband said, go to the United States. And I said, are you, are you thinking you're lucky? Ano ka sinuswerte? Hindi pa tukoy ng mga doktor kung ano ang sanhi ng kanyang kanser sa baga. Hindi naman daw kasi naninigarilo si Santiago, kahit ang kanyang asawa. Stage 4 na ang kanser ni Santiago, pero hindi pa raw ito kumakalat. Meron daw kasing kakaibang kondisyon ng kanyang kaliwang baga na nakatutulong sa paglaban sa kanser. My cells in my left lung have developed a genetic mutation that makes them impermeable to cancer and which gives them the energy to fight off cancer nearby. I don't have to take anything, just take the tablet and in effect it will give me all the benefits of chemotherapy without the side effects. Bukod sa cancer, iniina din ni Santiago ang chronic fatigue syndrome. Kaya palagi siyang nakakaramdam ng matinding pagkapagod at dahilan kung bakit pigilan na makapasok si Santiago sa Senado. Pero sa kabila ng kanyang mga sakit, hindi pa sinasarado ni Santiago ang posibilidad ng paglahok sa 2016 presidential elections. I'm supposed to be in remission by next month. I'm going to announce my presidential candidacy. Oh, seriously? <laughs> People, you know, if they don't, if they don't clean up this mess, because as a lawyer, I look at this dub opinion, which goes my way, as a big mess. It depends, really. Maybe God will send me another disease, so I'll have to come. <laughs> I don't really know what I will do. Magpapagamot daw muna si Santiago sa Pilipinas sa susunod na isa't kalahating buwan. Kung hindi pa rin daw siya gumaling, ay lilipad siya sa Los Angeles sa Amerika upang doon magpagamot. I hope to be able to see you in six weeks fully cured of cancer. Jam si Sante, Nakatutok, 24 Horas.